Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a really cool review for the Ampere Dusk Light. Now these are smart sunglasses that come with an app and allow you to modify how dark you want your lenses to be at any given time. So I gotta give a big thank you and shout out to Ampere for sending these out free for review. Let's go ahead and take a look around this box and see what we've got. So you can see right here, electrochromatic smart sunglasses and just a very nice box all around. Plastic free packaging, that's always nice. Now on the back here, we do get some specs. So we've got Bluetooth 5.0, 110 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, App enabled tint adjustment time is seven days. Charging time is 80% in 15 minutes. That's very good. 100% in 60. And light transmittance is 38% down to 4%. These must get pretty dang dark. And then on the bottom here, you can see it blocks 100% of UVA and UVB rays. It's polarized, app enabled, like I mentioned, IPX4 waterproof. It's got a magnetic charging spot and four preset tint levels for tint adjustment on the frame, which is awesome. So you don't actually have to use the app if you don't want at any given time because you might be out and about not have your phone with you. So let's go ahead and pull this right out of the box. And here we have the interior box. Let's go ahead and pull this open. I think, yeah, that is magnetically attached. Very premium unboxing experience here. Now I'm going to go ahead and push this all the way down. There we go. Now right here says engineered to be worn from dawn till dusk. That's a play on the name. We've got charge it up, power it on, connect it and look great. And there is the app. If you scan that, you'll get the application from the app store. Welcome to the future of sunglasses. Let's see what we've got in here. Looks like we've got a little goodie pack. Slide this right out. Looks like you can get a little gift card here. Got a bunch of little cards. Got a polarized tester included, which is nice. Here's some information about the Dusk Premium lenses. Now there is also, this is the Dusk Light. There is also one just called the Dusk. That one gives you the ability to listen to music through the headphones. I don't know if it uses bone conduction or if it's just got mini speakers on it. It also has a microphone on it as well. Me personally, I wouldn't probably use that. So this is probably the sweet spot here. It's a little cheaper as well. I'll have links down below if you want to check it out for yourself, but here is the little manual. Honestly, it looks pretty easy to set up. So we're going to be doing that next. Comes with its own microfiber cloth and this is super soft. So this looks like a very high quality cloth. We also get our own little pouch here to keep them in for when we're traveling when we're out and about. It's actually padded as well, which is nice quality. Good to see that you wanna protect your investment here. And now for the main event, we have the glasses itself. And that's pretty cool, light or dark you choose, because of course you get to choose how dark they are. So this is especially helpful for those of you that have ever had sunglasses and you're like, well, the sun's setting, but you still want to wear them, but they're just too dark. Well, this should solve that issue because now you can change how dark your sunglasses are. So let's go ahead and unbag it here. <laughs> there we go. And here is a first look at these sunglasses. I'm assuming right now, they are not in their darkest mode because that is pretty see-through. This is probably the 38% if I had to guess. So let's just take a look around them. So I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in this box, which there is. So there's a charging cable in here and this is braided. So it is USB-C to magnetic pogo connector here. And this is a very nice cable. It's kind of thin, but for something like this, you want it to be thin and compact. So this is a nice braided USB-C cable. I love to see it. Is there anything else in here? Yes, there is. We have extra nose pads. So we've got thin and we've got thick. So you guys can choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna set those off to the side here and just double check and make sure nothing else is in here. Nope, we are all good. So let's go ahead, try out these sunglasses. I'm super excited to see how they work. All right, so here they are one more time. I'm gonna close them up if I can. Let's see. So they close better this way. And that is how bulky they are. They are not that bulky at all. These honestly look like similar to a pair of Ray-Bans that I have. We've got a little Ampere branding right there on the inside and very slight branding right here on the outside, but no one's gonna really know that these are smart glasses at all. Uh, they look just like your average pair of sunglasses and they're not heavy at all. I was worried about that, that these are gonna be heavy and bulky. That is not the case. Well, I think I just accidentally pressed the button. Let's go ahead and do that again. So we've got light mode, darker, darker, and I think this is the darkest mode. Look at how dark those just got, just by me pressing this button. That is sick. That is so cool. I think the next step is to get the app and customize it even more. Now it always worries me a little bit when I see a low star rating on the app store, but of course we are the professional reviewers. So we're gonna go ahead, test it out and let you guys know the truth about this app. So it looks like you get an option to sign up if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and just open this up and see what we got without an account. Let's see if we can pair it up. It looks like it was not able to find it, but I probably have to hold this button or something. So let's just go ahead and see. All right, so I went ahead and got this thing charging here. So you can see there's a tiny LED. I love how they put it on the inside. So it's not something that looks, again, this doesn't look like a tech product. 
Uh, they put it on the inside so only you know that it's charging up. So I'm gonna let it do that and then I'm gonna pair it up here to the app. All right, so I powered it up after charging it just like the instruction said and it is now blinking green and red. Usually it's blue and red for pairing, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Now in the settings app on my phone, I see it right here, dusk light. So I'm gonna click on that. And just like that, it says it's connected and I think we're good. So now I can hop right into the app here and it says add this device. Okay, now I do wish this screen would have showed up first because otherwise it looks like it's just trying, trying and can't pair. So I think that's where some confusion comes in. This app needs to have a pop-up that tells users how to pair it uh, first. So it needs to tell them to charge it first and then press and hold the button for three seconds. Look for the light, make sure it's powered on, make sure it's in pairing mode, then go to settings app, pair it there, and then pair it in the app. No, it sounds like a lot, it's super easy, but I bet that would solve a lot of confusion for average users. Anyways, we are good to go so we can name them. Desk light is fine for now, so add it, and there we go. It just added the sunglasses straight to the app, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and go to the home screen and there it is. So now it looks like I have full control of these sunglasses straight from the app. And it even has a little hint right here for first time users. One light tap to activate or deactivate a preset or a long press to edit, rename, or delete a preset. Right now, these are on the lightest setting. Let's go ahead and go to dark. Boom, instantly goes straight to dark. So if you really needed to switch between light and dark, you can do that very easily. You can also customize it right here and get an exact darkness that you want on your sunglasses. That is awesome. I know there's been so many instances where I just kind of thought, hey, I wish I could change the darkness of my sunglasses uh, just to get it a little bit lighter to let more light in. And now you can literally do that straight from an app. This is the future right here. On top of that, I can go in here and I can actually add a preset. So let's just name it test. And there we go. So I've got test. Now all I have to do is long press on it and go to edit tint. And I can change what I want this one to be. Maybe I want this one to be right in the middle. So just like that, save it. And now I can go back. And let's put it on the lightest tint just to show you guys this in action. So we've got it on the lightest tint right now. Let's go ahead and try out the test. Boom, just like that, it is now at 50%. You guys can see it go through there. Now, just to show you that there is darker, let's go to dark. Boom, got even darker. And just to show you guys that these are polarized, uh, you guys can see there's no real face on this guy right now, just two eyes. But if I put this up to the camera, you guys can see he now has sunglasses on his face. And that is how you know that this is polarized. And I just put them on right now. And you can kind of tell when a lens is actually polarized. So these are legit. I love that they include the tester just to let anyone know in case they weren't sure. They can test for themselves and know it's working. Now it does come with different nose pieces here. So you guys can choose depending on your facial structure so you can get these just right. I'm gonna put these on one more time and just kind of test them out. Okay, yep, I can confirm this is actually very dramatic. So I wasn't sure before getting these if these tint changes were actually gonna be very dramatic. Uh, like when you're actually wearing it. And I can confirm right now the difference between this one and this dark one is actually very different. So these will dramatically change how you view your surroundings when you are out and about. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually take these sunglasses to the Bahamas with me at the end of this week. Uh, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks. And when I come back, I'm going to film the end of this video. And we're gonna talk about how much I like them, if I didn't like them, the experiences I had with them. I'm gonna give you guys an overall review and impressions of these glasses after an actual long-term review because I don't wanna just open these and say they're cool. I wanna actually try these out because this is such a unique product. I wanna actually put these through their paces and give them a shot because this could legitimately be the next big thing because instead of having to have a bunch of different pairs of different sunglasses with different strengths of darkness, you can just have one pair and cycle through them yourself at any time. Anyways, I'm gonna splice that into this same video so you guys don't have to go anywhere. You're gonna see everything all in one video through the magic of editing. So I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. All right, guys, we are back. It's been a couple weeks and we traveled with these glasses to the Bahamas to try them out in real life and to get a full comprehensive feel of how these work to give you guys the best review possible. So we traveled with these in this little pouch that it came with. We had the charging cable in there as well, though we didn't have to use it on the trip because we charged these up before we went and they last for a good seven days. Here is the microfiber cleaning cloth that we also keep in here. Everything fits perfectly and Honestly, it doesn't take up much room at all. We also did not have to use the app much because honestly, if you just use the presets that come included, I think you'll be pretty happy. So here are the sunglasses after a couple weeks of use and you can see they look almost perfect because if you just wipe them down, they look really good. Now these lenses are scratch resistant and as you guys can see, there's not a single scratch on these lenses. 
even after traveling, going through TSA and all that in bags and stuff on planes. So durability seems to be pretty good. I wasn't sure if these would make it just because, uh, you know, they're electronics and, and stuff happens in baggage on airplane. But these turned out to be just fine. Let's continue talking about the actual physical product here. These are very lightweight. Now, while wearing these, I did not have a single issue with the weight. And I want to throw in a quick scale here just to show you guys what I mean, like how lightweight these actually are. So we're at zero grams on the scale, drop these on. These are 32 grams. That is insanely lightweight. If you follow this channel, one of our last case reviews for an iPhone case was 47 grams. These are lighter than an iPhone case. So keep that in mind. There's a battery, there's technology, there's all kinds of stuff packed into these sunglasses and they're still that lightweight. Now, while we're talking about these, I do want to say they're incredibly comfortable. They're lightweight. They don't pinch your head or anything, at least not mine. I have a decent sized cranium. <laughs> and these were just fine. Now the nose pieces, of course, can be swapped out if you need. There's a tiny bit of branding right here at the back, but otherwise these just look like typical Wayfarer sunglasses, except for one thing. And this is something that we didn't really like about these. These bezels are kind of big. So when it's in this lightest mode setting, on, at least on my face, it looked a little strange and I wasn't a fan of that. But once you dim it down and get it a little darker, uh, like down here, it looks pretty normal. It's harder to see those big bezels, but that is one of the few gripes that I have with these. So first thing, I wish these were a little thinner. But other than that, I think they nailed the look and the feel of these sunglasses. Next up, let's talk about battery life. Charging these is very easy. You've got the pogo pins right here. You just connect these magnetically. Boom, you see the little red light. That means it's charging. Very easy. It takes a little while to fully charge them, but once you do, you should be good. They say for a week. Now, I thought that meant a week of use. I came home from the Bahamas and these were dead. I only used them for a couple days. So I definitely did not use them for seven days because I was trying out different sunglasses and trying to compare these to those. I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't last longer, uh, but maybe in a future version, they can get the battery life up a bit. And the last little nitpick thing, uh, this actually might be pretty big for you. Uh, there is a gradient when you're looking through these. Uh, the top portion of the lenses are a little darker than the bottom lens. So when you're looking up and down like this, it can be a little jarring at first until you get used to it. So I'm gonna show you this two different ways. The first way is kind of from afar. So this is the lightest setting, as you guys can see. And then I'm gonna go darker, darker, and darkest. So these are like normal sunglasses, almost possibly even darker than normal sunglasses, really dark. And these are polarized, so it should cut out a lot of glare when you're looking at things, whether it's on the darkest or lightest. But with that said, you guys can really see the contrast of how dark these can get and how light they can get. Now I'm going to put it up to the camera lens here very carefully, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like as if you were wearing these. So lightest, darker, darker, darkest. So I don't know if this is coming through properly on camera just because our camera is not tuned for sunglasses, but that's what they look like. And it's really cool. This is like a cool party trick that can start instant conversations with anyone that you're with. You just darken or lighten your sunglasses and everyone's gonna be like, what the heck are you doing? How do you do that? And it's like the coolest party trick. And then you just pull up the app and you can adjust it on the fly. That is even cooler. Uh, it's just a really novel thing that not a lot of people can do with their sunglasses unless they also have a pair of these, which let's be honest, they probably don't. All right, now I do need to mention, they do have another version of these that has speakers built in. So if you wanna to listen to music or something like that, you can get those. Those are $100 more than these, and these are already a little bit expensive in my opinion. They're premium, and it's kind of a niche market because for me personally, I did not actually find myself needing to use them in this lightest mode. Usually I would go out to the beach, I would want the darkest, I'd go inside and I'd take them off. And on top of that, I think per, for me personally, my head shape and everything, these did not look good on the lightest setting with my face, just didn't look right. The darker settings all looked just fine, but it just wasn't my preference to have such big bezels. Uh, I think that threw off the look just a bit. Now, one thing I did find while using these is that this last setting here is actually not the darkest it goes. So right here, that's not as dark as it goes. You can actually see that on the app. So if I click fully dark, it's gonna get even darker than this. So this is like blacked out. Like this is this is legit hardcore stuff if you are in a very bright environment. I think this would be perfect. This is probably darker than my average sunglasses as well. So I think that about wraps up the review here and my thoughts. Uh, will this be replacing my normal sunglasses? No, not until three things change. First off, the design just doesn't work with my face as well as I thought. Uh, these need to be a little bit thinner bezels. Uh, and I think that'll help. The sides look great. There's no issues with those at all. It's just the front looks a little wonky on my face, but everyone's face is different. Next up, the battery life. I think that needs to be improved. 
at least doubled what it is now because I would not want to keep charging these once a week. I usually just throw my sunglasses in my car and I don't keep them on a charger. Like that would be kind of inconvenient for me. And lastly is the gradient. I think they need to fix the way that it's darker at top and lighter on the bottom. You can't really see it here, but when you're wearing them, trust me, you'll see it. There's been other reviews that mention that as well. I thought I was the only one. Uh, but I was not. Lastly is the price. You got to think about the price. Of course, you can pick up a cheap pair of sunglasses anywhere, but if you want something premium and that's tech related like this, you're going to have to pay up a little bit to get in on it. And since there's nothing really else on the market that I know of like this, they've kind of cornered the market here. So you got to pay to play. And if you want something like this, uh, that's just what you got to do. So if those three things are addressed and you think about the price, these might be actually the right thing for you. If you like the bigger style of this, you don't mind the battery life and you also don't care about the gradient. You got the money for these, absolutely go for them. One of the other things that I liked is that these are smart glasses, but they don't have cameras all over. The other smart glasses coming out with cameras on them and stuff, I think that's creepy. If I saw someone walk into, you know, a public bathroom wearing those things, that would not be good. <laughs> these look like just normal glasses. There's no camera, there's no creepy stuff. It's smart in the sense that you can control it from your phone, but it's just the right amount of smart. It's not overboard, there's no creepy cameras or anything on these. So that is one thing I do like. So let me know your thoughts down below. Have you purchased one of these? Are you planning to purchase one? What has been your experience if you did? I would like to know that all down below, but that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.